my god. <laughs> the fence just broke. I thought a tree was like raining down on me or something. It scared me. Hey internet, it's Jessica and welcome back to Mafia. We are on in intermezzo. Jesus Is that what it said? Christ, Danny, you confess into a shootout in a church. And I ain't even anyway, um, last episode you know, was insane. Right now, put your bars <laughs> so many things happened. Maybe. If you think you can make any of it stick. But then you'd never know about Marillo. So, um... Tommy, hey, Tommy's so getting deeper and deeper into the mob. Started. What you having? Two lunch specials, please. And more coffee. You know what? Let's bring the whole pot. But I, I like how smart Tommy together. is being what about it when he's talking to, to the cop. The church? It's a strange thing. Nothing really came of it all. Always figured Celieri paid off someone somewhere because it wasn't even in the papers. We just had to lay low for seven, eight months. Mm. The cops kept showing up at the bar just to remind us they were watching. And Frank caught wind that Morello was helping Galati get reelected, hoping he'd go after the Don. Well, I recovered some account books from Morello's offices. 33 was a pretty good year for him. Bastard knew we were bleeding out before we did. While we were busy keeping our heads down, he started moving in on our rackets. Quiet at first, a few trucks go missing. Uh, top burner has one too many highballs, drives off a bridge. One of our regular pickups suddenly closes up shop, moves upstate. Damn, Morello really took he everything. Didn't catch on. Not me. I think maybe Polly smelled something. But even with the cops looking over our shoulders and Morello circling, we were still making good money. And with the Dom worried about keeping the heat off, we didn't have much to do, except drink, have a few laughs. Every time I went into Celieri's, there was Sarah. So it was a good year. Mm, Cause Sarah was Until around. Frank. What happened? A Coletti, a dance can sick the Yeah, that's right. He set me straight. Like I said. He said it's all straight. Frank Loki kind of scares me. <laughs> There's a lot of buzz around town about you guys. Yeah, we got into a little scrap last night. It's no big deal. I don't care about the bar fight, Tom. I care how it looks when you walk into a club and buy everyone around. Okay. Uh, we got into something with her, though. Then blow it at the track on Sunday. Or take a dame to a show. Or invest it, for Christ's sake. <laughs> you want me to become one of those Wall Street boys? <laughs> don't sass me, Tommy. What's happening? I'm trying to teach you the ropes so you don't get strangled by them. Oh, he's trying. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, that that makes sense you have too. Have a dog, Tom. Because Tom's never been sure. in this situation. A little mutt when I was a kid. When I was eight or nine, before I came over from the Sicily, I had this beautiful skinny Cherneco de Letna, like a little greyhound, fastest dog you've ever seen. That's how I met the Don. We started setting up races together. Betting on her with coins and rifle shells. There wasn't another dog that could catch her. She never lost. Until the day she did. We were only out of pocket knife, but I never saw the Don so angry. She got old on you? No. Pregnant. She went into heat, got out of the yard, and every dog in town had a turn. You're like that dog, Tommy. Every time you flash your money around, you're a in heat. And everyone in that club is now looking to you. I, I kind of agree with it, even though it's a very graphic get sentiment. Fucked. I get the comparison. You're no good to us. You, you, see, you have a name to rep Do represent now because he's a part of the family, you know? Yeah, you made your point. Good. Because you need to think about your career here. Look, Paulie's at his ceiling. He's the guy we want in a tussle, but he's not smart enough to run anything. Mm -hmm. Sam is loyal, but he has no vision. But you, Tommy. He has both of those things. You could run this town someday. Well, I appreciate that, Frank. So, uh, what happened to the dog? I imagine they put her down or something. The Don tried to drown her. I broke his nose. Jesus! You can let me off here. 
Give Sarah my best, Tommy. <laughs> Tommy's like, wait. <laughs> oh my god. He I, I also low-key think that's a little bit of a threat. I'm not saying Frank would hurt Sarah, but he knows Tommy's weakness now, which is her. Um which again he scares me. A trip to the country, 1933. Back then, everything went through Frank. The plans, the orders, the money. You could get the call day or night. Ah, Tom. Hey. Frank says to wait for him in the garage out in the back. Eh? Okay. You got the job, I think. Thanks, Luigi. Sarah's cooking. She's bringing something over. In this rain? <laughs> She's a good girl. I'll see you tomorrow, Luigi. So are are Tommy and Sarah officially dating now, or are they just like hanging out? Because like I obviously they they had romantic intentions when we helped her back at the apartment, but like um, you know, it's a good to see a smile back on Sarah's face. Aww, love that the dad supports this. That's really nice. Luigi, Sarah loaned these books to March. Please return them with our thanks, Frank. What's this? Telegram. Okay, confirming visit as planned. Can't wait to see all of you, your Canucks cousins. Oh, they're from Canada! Hey! <laughs> Alright, where's Frank? Oh, there he is. Thanks for waiting, Tom. The Don and I had to go over last month's numbers again. Sure. So what's the job? I want you to help Sam and Polly with the shipment we've got coming in tonight. The good stuff? Straight from Canada. Where do you need me? Sam's gone to meet our friends from the north at the farm outside of town. Polly will oversee the trucks bringing the shipment into the city. Why do I but feel like something's wrong here? I want here? you to go with him. Be an extra pair of eyes. Make sure it all goes smoothly. Okay. Get the car from Ralphie and meet Polly at the warehouse. He's got heaters in case you run into any trouble. Sure, Frank. No problem. Good. Now bring the Canadian home safe, Tommy. There is already a case you're marked for the done. All right. I don't know. I'm just getting a vibe from all of this. It's kind of sounding like... Because, like, Sam, Sam and Polly don't really need backup. I, I'm pretty sure they're okay it's on their own. But, like, it feels like he wants Thanks, Tommy Ralph. to join them for either looking out for them because he believes something is going on. You know? Because, like, remember, was it, was it uh, Polly who mentioned that, like, oh, I have a little business on the side. Remember with the, the, the other guy in Chinatown where he mentioned, like, he has, like, a business and then Tommy was like, oh, does the Don know about that? And he said, don't worry, he'll get his cut. So that kind of sounds like he doesn't know about it. But the Mexican uh, suits... So I'm wondering if they're doing the same thing here. Oh, is that his mom? Me and mom. Aw. That's cute, Ralphie. Working late, Ralphie? I says his sleep when f -f Frank sleeps. Man, he's been w working us hard. Yeah, Morello's taking bites out of business here, everywhere saying. else, Ralph. Bulls wreck, it's where we shine. We gotta stay ahead someplace. Ah, well, I, I just f -f -f fixed the cars to time. I changed the plates again. You can't be too careful. Oh, thanks, Ralphie. See you in the morning. Okay. I still like him. Everyone needs to stop being mean to him. <laughs> All right, we're on the road again. But like I said, I do think something is going to go wrong. I think there's a little bit less trust between everyone in the family. And I guess that's why Frank pulled Tommy aside to be like, you know, you could run this town if you want to. I guess, in a way, isn't Loki seeming like he's kind of picking Tommy as a successor to Don Cilieri? Because just in case he dies or he goes down, I imagine they would want to pick someone who could continue the the line, like the, the family. But Don, the Don doesn't have, like, children, right? I don't, I don't think he has any children or anything like that. So I imagine they look to Tommy as the next best thing because... Sammy, S Sam and Polly are, aren't the greatest. Um, I feel like Sam is a little bit more responsible, but that dude doesn't really have like a goal set in mind like Frank does, and, and Polly's unfortunately stupid. So <laughs> I feel like that's that, that's what that conversation was about. 
it's not like just a warning to him, to him, but I feel like it's just kind of an invitation to be like, hey, this could be something for you later on. Why is there so many cops here all of a sudden? What's going on? But it's scary to have this kind of responsibility, especially if your family is the one that's running out of power. If everything's going to Morello right now, especially like the politicians, the police force, um, majority of the businesses are going to his side. It is scary to think like, how can you fix that, you know? Um, so I get why they would want to make sure the alcohol part of their business is like secure. So if that's why they're not really trusting Polly and Sam, they would want to make sure that they're actually getting money from this part because they're the only ones who are doing it right. Uh, so that's- oh god, now I'm like really concerned, like really really concerned about this. I don't want to go over there and start fighting Sam and Polly. I actually like those two. Sam kind of disappointed me in the last- Part, but I wonder what really happened like if that was like by by accident or what but I don't know we'll find out come on Tom hey hey watch it pal just dry it out Holly what's Sorry. wrong with you <laughs> why is he so angry oh uh, yeah we've done a few pickups at the farm before okay don't worry there ain't nothing but cow shit and shine out here. It's gonna be an easy few clams. Boys will load up the trucks, and we'll come straight back. Yeah, let's make it quick. I got some place to be. Ah, uh, you see it's hour later. <laughs> Luigi's little girl, your night shift. Shut up! <laughs> You're something else, pal. Protecting the girl's virginity one day and taking it the next. Bro, okay. Lay off, Polly. Come on, don't oh, come do that. On. I'm just kidding. She's a good girl. You settle down, she'll straighten you right out. You're going home to a couch. <laughs> Yo, Polly, if you weren't so dumb, maybe you would have a girlfriend. Luigi was a stone cold killer back in the day. Really? I wouldn't know. You know she's been helping out behind the bar since she was a kid. I bet she's seen and heard a few things. Probably knows more about our business than we do. She knows enough not to ask me too many questions. That's good. She won't ever make a liar out of you. Christ. You ought to marry her just for that. Hmm. I, yeah, I guess, every, I guess everyone's Damn so it. cool with him dating Sarah, right? Sam should be waiting they like don't see him. Something smells off. No, please don't, don't do your this to get me. All shriveled up. Probably just trying to get please out of Please don't range. tell me. You know, I thought it would be Polly being dumb, bike. but now I think about it, Sam has the motive to betray everyone. Just saying. <laughs> That'll wake him. I don't think that's it, Polly. Polly, stop! He ain't coming. Okay. Let's go find him. Bro, something's wrong. Something is so wrong. That bastard is just three sheets, and I'm wrecking a new suit for nothing. I swear I'm gonna kill him. We might have to. I, you know. Yeah. Just in case Thanks. Frank was right. Frank was right. I'm gonna go grab them boys. Wait, what? Them sort it out. You go ahead, see what's what. We'll catch up with you. Oh, don't make me go by myself, dude. Dude, <laughs> Polly. Oh no, okay, um... Yeah, we're gonna keep the shotgun on me just in case. Sam? Why are my frames dropping? Sam? Yo, Sam, you in here? Someone's been waiting here tonight. Sam? One quarter out of work. Government reports show no end to slow down. Measure to date have failed and halted the econ economic slide. Unemployment stands at 25%. Farm foreclosures are at two-year high. A smallholder battle combined a threat of financial hardship and the dust storms choking the high plains. In response, the president proposed new legislation to stabilize the banking system. When was this? Wait, wait, I didn't see the date, hello? <laughs> it's February 2nd, 1933. Okay. So someone was waiting here. Oh, this is so creepy. I don't know who's out here. I might get freaking shot. 
Damn it, this is why I want Polly to come with me. Why did he leave me behind? Guy we pay to keep this place in check. Don't even pretend to farm now. Yeah, they kind of just let it... See, this is probably what they're, they're talking about. There's something going on on the inside. Because, now that I think about it, yeah, it would make sense that Sam betrays everyone. Not only because he has no goal in mind, but I feel like he's a lot more smarter than Polly. But he's already done this mistake before with uh, Michelle. The, the girl in the hotel. He was blabbing about like what they're doing in the family to her. Hmm. Hello? Sam? This don't feel right. Can I take this axe? Why does it feel like I'm gonna die? What the fuck? Missing farmer found dead. Lo uh, Lost Haven, Illinois, June 17th. Harry Smith missing for two months. Was confirmed dead today by the Lost Haven County Coroner Office. A fruitless search led by the uh, farmer's father and neighbors ended several weeks ago. The grisly discovery of a body was made by local children looking for edible mushrooms and berries in the woodland local of to Corpse Farm. The dead is not being treated as suspicious due to how Mr. Smith's body was found hanging by the neck. He is survived by his elderly father. Okay, just because he's hanging from the neck doesn't mean he didn't do it, you know? Could be staged, but hey, this is back in the 30s. They didn't really have, like, that much... No! The dog! What kind of guy shoots a dog? No! Yo, I don't like that. Why is the dog dead? Why do they kill... Why do they always kill dogs in video games? Stop it! Place is derelict. What if Polly was lying to me? He's not actually going to help me. He's just like pretending to wait for backup or pretending to talk to the other guys because they're gonna jump us. What if that happens? I can see that happening because Polly and Sam are best friends. This is so creepy. I hate this. Oh god. Can I go in here? No. I don't think I can. Can I go in this house? I don't know where to go. This is actually a really big farm. Like, looking at it, this is actually a really big farm. Jesus Christ, Sam. Sam? Why is there blood there? Oh my god, where is everyone? Or Sam, in general! Where are you, dude? <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> The fence just broke. I thought a tree was like raining down on me or something. It scared me. Oh, I can't see anything. Where the hell are you hiding? Wait, Sam? Sam? Oh my god, I don't like this. This is so creepy. <gasps> That's a dead guy. That's a dead guy. That's a dead guy. What happened? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, that's a dead guy, that's a dead guy. Hey buddy! He's dead! Tommy, he's dead! Jesus, drop your weapon. You first. We don't have time for this. Sorry, pal. Guess we're doing this the hard way. Who the way. fuck are you guys? Okay then. Get over here! I got him pinned down! Oh damn! Yo, Tommy, that was good. That was really good. Die. Over here! Okay, okay, I got that guy. Let me switch guns for now. Oh my god! I'm trying to get headshots. Ow! Oh, you know what? Fine, you want to come at me like that? Come here! Come closer! I wish I had mauled it. Polly, where the fuck are you, dude? Right here. Back me up, fellas. Okay, okay, this guy's getting brave. Okay, okay. Sorry, I don't mean to. I sh you know, I have actually, like, um. This one. I have, um, a button for that. I keep forgetting. Ow! Shit, shit, shit. I want to move. Gonna reload. Get a better shot. Go. Holy crap. 
Holy crap. That's it. That's it. Okay, let me let me Nothing about this feels right. Oh my god, let me heal myself first. Let me heal myself first. What is happening? Is this Morello's man? I don't think so. This seems fake. Connect cousins meet at the usual place. Uncle is happy. Gift on the way. This was a setup. What the fuck is going on? Okay, I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I don't know why my frames are dropping. I'm not sure what's going on. Wow! Me, Tom. Polly, what is Polly. going on? What took you so long? Looking for Sammy. Did you find him? Nah, not yet. Just him. Canadian crew. Dollars to donuts. Oh, is that the guy we were supposed to take care of? That Frank asked us not to make sure he, he didn't die or anything? Oh, shit. Oh, Christ. <gasps> cops! The cops, Tommy. How would I know? They didn't show a badge. God, they didn't say anything. Oh no. They must be in Morello's pocket. This bastard. He can't even let us have this one racket. Forget about it, Tom. We gotta find Sam and get out of here. I agree. Where the hell is this dude? Did they take him? Oh, that's b border patrol. Oh, that is so bad. Oh no. Okay, okay, okay. At least you guys are with me this time around because, like, honestly, where the hell were all of you earlier? Let me get some ammo if these guys have any. These guys are the real deal. They gotta be cops from the border patrol. Fuck. They've come heavy, all right. Make Lost Heaven PD look like pussy cats. I don't like this. There's something wrong. What if Sam is dead? That's kind of what I'm worried about too. We never, we'll never get an answer out of him either. Like, oh gosh. Okay. Why is the barns all opened up now? Did you guys go through here? What the hell? Why is there so much blood? Why is there so much blood? Whoa! Tommy! Oh! Are those the Looks farmers? Like found the oh no, those are the other guys. Okay. Sam in there? No. no. <sighs> Glad so. What the hell is this? Poor bastards. Oh, give me this. Thanks. I'm gonna need that. The Molotov? Yeah. Passport. Oh no, he's from Winnipeg! I'm not from there. <laughs> but oh no, he's from Winnipeg! Oh no. Hey, his birthday's October 6th. Oh my gosh, okay. Alright. Check every building. Yep. Why is it a thunderstorm? <laughs> Why is it progressively making it worse? Maybe I should bust out the shotgun. I'm just saying. You know? Because I feel like someone's hiding and they'll jump out. Hello? <gasps> Who's that? Get some cover. I knew it! Get to go home tonight. Uh, to Whoa! What happened? Yeah, oh what? shit! Oh shit! <laughs> that guy's bleeding bad. Come on, get out! <clears throat> Ow! Taking cover. That one's coming for me. Oh my god. Ow! My foot! Oh shit! Why isn't it showing up? Oh! Let's try in the big news! What the fuck? <laughs> what happened? Why didn't they show up on the map for me? Okay, sorry. <laughs> George, I have it on good authority that Solari's whiskey handovers tonight. Our mutual friend wants his line of Canadian booze coming into the city shut down. I want you and your men at the farm we discuss at 9 p.m. Wait through the night and tell the boys it's fine if things get rough. They can take some hooch home to thank them for coming for this far from the south. Good hunting. Yeah, water cops doing Norello's dirty work. Yeah, so they got those people on their payroll, huh? 
Okay, sorry. That was really bad. I'm very sorry about that. Okay, let's go. Yeah, I'm gonna keep the shotgun out. I don't trust this anymore. Dudes are just hiding in the barns everywhere. There's something up in that barn over there, Tom. Okay, okay. Oh, if I could get in, that'd be great. Please. Oh, okay. oh, uh, Who's that? Hello? Now! Get him! Get in. Get over here now! Sure, sorry, I shot you in the- Okay, alright. I shot you in the leg, but apparently you're still Taking awake. Okay. Got you. No! Where's this last guy? There he is. They're on to me. Get out there! <clears throat> Damn, I was- Oh, I hit you in the neck! What? What is this? So, let me get some. Let me get some of this. Yup. Let me get some of this. We're gonna have a shootout, that's for sure. Okay, are you guys ready? That's <gasps> Sam, there you are! <gasps> no! Bro! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I wanna get to the other side. Let me get to the sides. Get a better angle. Move up. Here we go. Ow, 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 ow. Got you. Gonna reload. Oh, sir, I hit you in the head! How? <laughs> Set his ass on fire. Him up. <gasps> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. What the hell? Should I just throw a Molotov too? I mean, I could do that. How do I throw Molotovs again? I forget. What is this man? Superhuman? He's taking so many bullets! Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Sam! Oh my god, is he okay? You boys stay here and watch our backs. Plug anyone who gets within 100 yards. Except us. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sam? Hey, Polly. <laughs> Sammy. Oh, Jesus. What have they done to you? I got clipped. That's a lot of blood. Okay, okay. Where'd you get hit? Can you walk? No, I don't think so. Oh, God, he's okay, gonna okay, die. Okay, okay, just hang on. I'll go get the truck, then we'll take you to the doctor. Hey, hey, you're gonna make it, Sam. Tommy, hmm. stay here with him. I'll be back. I'll be back in a flash. Polly, please don't be slow. Okay. Yo, get him like a bandage or something. Uh, uh, fuck. It'll be okay, Sam. We survived worse. You sure? You sure we have? <gasps> Bro! My backup! <laughs> no! Where'd all these guys come from? I don't know! Take them down, Tom! Say goodnight, punk! I'll try my best. Thank Christ you came when you did. <laughs> I have one of them hurt. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. Shit. 
Oh shit, they're gonna come up here, aren't they? I want them to come up here. Come here! That's what I thought. Where are we? Okay, there you are. What the fuck? Okay, that's that's some bullshit. That's some bullshit right there. That is some bullshit. Say your goodbyes, pal. Oh shit! Yep, I'm coming. Uh, Holy fuck! Holy fuck! Yo, so am I. Can I just get some first aid first? Jesus, this hurts. Can I just get some first aid? Y'all mind if I just get some first aid? Also, I need some ammo. Do you have ammo? Hello? Thanks. <laughs> oh, there was a first aid right there. That's right. I forgot. I'm stupid. Sam, are you okay? Jesus Christ. Ugh. Where's the goddamn I think truck? Polly ran into trouble. That's not... If they kill the other guys... Crap, we got caught. <gasps> no! What do we do? Oh my god, I have to fight all the cops, don't I? Oh no! Get it. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no! Got you now! Shit! Uh, oh shit, oh shit! I must reload. How do I throw a Molotov again? I actually forgot. I'm trying, I'm trying. Oh my god, this is so this is so stressful. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. Oh my god, I don't like this. Holy shit! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy Is he okay? Oh Christ. Tony and Donnie too? Yeah. What a fucking massacre. How's Sam? Well, he ain't any worse. I'll go get him. Keep an eye out. What's wrong? Oh my god, I don't like this. Wait, why didn't why didn't um Tommy bring to Sam down? Yeah, I can see that here. Hang on. I got that. I got that. Okay. 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 Hey, we're gonna get you all patched up. He knows hey. something's wrong. What the Molly? fuck is that? We got more That's company. not a normal car. All right, get in. What is that? I'm right here, Sam. There's some ammo, and a Thompson back there somewhere. I gotta shoot. Oh no! Is that a tank? What is that? Behind you! Blast them down! Just don't let them get past us. I'll try my best. Oh my god. Can I shoot out their tires? This is so bad. This that is so fucking bad. Huge. Where yeah. the hell did they find that truck? Take them out, Tom. Let them have it. Okay, hang on, hang on. I'm glad that this, um... I'm glad that this um, gun has infinite ammo. Oh my god. Okay, one down. There we go. Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. This is kind of hard to aim. These guys keep on coming. Oh, 
<laughs> I got more where that Wait, came where do from. I throw this at? Oh, okay, it doesn't matter. Polly, we gotta lose him! <laughs> That was the most frustrating thing I've we ever experienced. We did it. Oh my god. <laughs> Why would you do that? Why was that so difficult? <sighs> Sammy, you better live after all of this. Okay, we're here. Tell him. You get Sam out. I'm gonna go wake up the doc. Sam. Sam. We made it. Pick him up, Tom. No, Sammy, don't die! Pick him up, pick him up, come on, come on. You better, if you freaking die, sir. You know how many times I died for that stupid turret? Polly, what the hell are you doing here so late? Uh, uh, Tell him! Evening, Doc. Sorry to wake you, but um, we had a little accident. We got an injured man out here. All right, bring him inside. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, I'll stay with Sam. You can take the truck back. Call it a night. No, I'll wait. The doctor already got his hands full. No sense in both of us breathing down his neck. Go on, Tom. I'm gonna be fine. Uh, you better live. Oh my God. Okay. Hey, you did good tonight. Thanks, Polly. That was so in that was so annoying. <laughs> now let me know how many times it took you to defeat that turret. Oh my god, I don't even know. I'm gonna put up a counter like how many times it took me. What? What? What happened? That was insane. You know, I really thought that um, Sam or Paul were like betraying us. I hope I'm wrong and that this was actually just because Morello got the border p patrol on us and that's the reason why we got caught. I don't want to think that my own friends and like people part of the mob, our family specifically, were setting this up. I don't want to believe that just yet. But I am cautious about this. But that was insane. That was actually really horrible. But now we have... If the if Morella has this much power on us, what's gonna happen to Celieri's like warehouse? The whole thing with the alcohol—they killed all the Canadians. Uh, Frank's gonna be freaking pissed off. Oh god, I made it in one piece. Holy crap, Sarah. Okay, she's okay. You're late. Dinner's cold. Oh, girl. No, don't be mad at us, please! Work. Yo, Tommy does not look okay. She was she was worried that he was the one who got hit. Oh man. I marry me. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Why did you just say okay? No, but I guess I guess um I guess Tom Tommy realizes like what he wants in that moment too like everybody's having a conversation with him like oh you know oh you sarah's one of the good ones she'll she'll make you a good person whatever does does that does the reason why he's asking her to marry her is not only because he wants to but is it because does he think marrying sarah will make him a good person because i feel like he doesn't think he's a good person anymore I don't know, that's the vibe I'm getting from this. And then you're coming into like a near-death experience. You almost lost like your friends. 
So well, actually, you kind of lost some of your friends, but like two of your 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 close friends, they almost died, uh, especially Sam. So I, I is that is that kind of the sentiment? Like you know, you only the short the 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 this life is short, especially when you come into the mob, but also because he wants to be a good person, and Sarah can make him that. I feel like that's that's what that was showing. Hey, bud. I came as soon as I got your message. Sit down, Tom. Uh, okay. We have a mole, Tom. Who? I knew no. it! Who? Oh. I was up all night driving myself nuts trying to figure it out. I started thinking maybe it's one of our guys. We aren't paying his fair share. Someone with a light wallet. Maybe looking to Morello for a new suit. Frank wasn't around, so I went to the safe to get the account books. Okay. To see who's getting cents on the dollar he's earned. What do you know? The books are gone, Tom. Huh? Frank. <sighs> More than 50 years I've known him. What? Really? I never Everything thought Frank would be the one who'd be a mole. But I guess now his speech in the car makes more sense. And every buck we've earned, every dime we've paid out, it's all logged in those books. Frank hands those over to the feds, we're finished. Frank respects one person in this whole town, and that's you. This has got to be yeah, some Yeah, that kind is kind of weird. I don't understand this. I've been calling him all day. I went by his place. He's gone. His wife and kid are gone. Okay, I'm confused. But why? I don't know. I'm sure he has his reasons. Maybe he's still smarting over the dog. But when you tried to drown? Yeah. Same one I shot after he wouldn't let me sink her. I was a stupid kid, Tom. Was he John Wicking him? What's going on? No grudge. You gotta get those <laughs> Frank is like holding Sit a grudge because they killed his dog. See who knows what. But I feel like it's more than that. I can't just be that, right? When you catch up to Frank, you get those books. And if he doesn't have them on him, you make him tell you where to find them. After that. You do what we gotta do. Kill him? Oh my god, I... Chenzo's waiting for you with a clean car. Yeah, I'll go to Vinny. I never thought it would be Frank. But now that conversation in the car, in the car that like, Tommy, you know, you could run this town, makes more sense. I just thought he was saying that just in case something happened to, to Don Celieri, but I feel like... He's saying that now because, um, he's saying that now because he's betraying him. Oh my Tough god. day today, Tom. Yeah, you say that. Hey, Vinny. We gotta keep a lid on this, Tom. Start with Biff, but don't give him nothing. I got you a clean set of wheels. Thank you. And something special here, if you want it. Oh, thank you. When Frank sees a Lepara, he'll know. The old ways work. Oh my god, dude. <sighs> I didn't see this coming now from Frank. Me either! I thought it was gonna be like Sam or something! That- I- I believe that more uh, than freaking Frank betraying everyone. I- I was suspecting it was Sam. Oh, Bro, move! What you doing? How are we gonna handle this? I wonder if he really did go to Morello. I mean, I don't really see him going anywhere ugh, anywhere else for protection, you know? And if he did go to the police, you could cut a deal with the feds to be like, go into protection if I give you everything I have on Solari. Like, people do that, right? So I, I can see that also happening. I don't really think he would go to Morello. Maybe it's more like the police, but that's still like very sketchy. Oh my god. It can't be just because of the dog, is it? Is it? Heard any big news lately? 
Something the Don might want to know. Yeah, it depends. <laughs> What's it worth to you? 20 bucks. How about 40? Oh. All right, spill. The FBI is in town. They're getting something from Morello, but I, I don't know what. How'd you hear? Little Tony got some guy drunk in the black cat and drove him home. Heard a bunch of stuff, so he's the guy you want to see. Okay. Thanks. Okay, fine little Tony. Oh, actually, I didn't notice that on the map earlier. Like, the mini-map, do you see that? It's a circled in, in Biff's store, and it says Biff underneath. That's pretty cool detail. I like that. Hello? Everything okay, Tom? Go get him, boys. That's just the game. Nah. Nah, it's not. What's this about the guy you drove home who's with the feds? He came in for a drink, which turned into ten. He's hired muscle for some kind of safe house. Where? Are you lying? Oak Hill, corner of Pine. He gave me ten bucks to drive him back and keep my mouth shut. Clearly did not work. That on that <laughs> council of Gilates brokered some kind of deal between Morello and the FBI. They were all ready to sit tight on someone in there. Why the hell didn't you tell us? Tom, I did. I came in to see Frank straight away. He didn't tell the Don? Oh, no. no! No, he didn't. Tom. What's going on? Bro, I don't know! Oh my god, Frank already heard! What the fuck is happening then? What does that mean? Unless Frank isn't betraying us and he's trying to handle it on his own. I mean, that's a possibility too, right? But I don't think so. Frank, Frank, no. Please tell me you're not doing this to us. I guess it's the FBI? Yeah. Come on, Frank can't be blind. He must see us over here. Okay, I just gotta make sure that they don't Take see Take me you. to those account books, Frank. Where are they moving you to? Oh. So the- it's been like, what, almost a year, right? Since that incident? Wasn't it? Like, what did- what did, uh, Tommy say? Eight months? Gotta be some kind of meat happening. I feel like this is too easy. Is- is Frank really this dumb about it? Like, I don't know. Frank doesn't strike me as the kind of guy to be this, like, stupid. You have to have a plan if you're going to the police. Ah, shit. They've taken you to the airport, Frank? Huh? Christ. They're flying him out of state or something. Fuck. This ain't good. What? What are we gonna do? Oh god, I'm way too suspicious. Whoa! so much security everywhere i mean it's an airport but like i know it's for for the fbi and frank what do we do what do i do find frank wh where he's being taken all right all right i'm just a guy i'm just a guy here to go to the airport i'm flying to my family in california all right what's he doing oh, okay 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 my bad my bad my bad sorry 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 Damn! Okay, front door approach is definitely not the way to go. I'm either gonna have to go through like a side door or something like that. I just figured that they were letting everybody on, but I guess it makes sense why there's like a lineup of cars at the front. Here we go, there's a side entrance. <gasps> oh my god, be careful. I can't just go around killing people. Right? We all want the same thing. Can't say I'm happy dealing with these people. What's this? Shut down airport. Informant and FBI escort leave safe house. Informant exchange taken to hangar five. Uh, we get account books after informant is handed over. Oh, really? Okay. Can I just knock out this man? Is that possible? Let me try. Let me try. Let me try. <laughs> Oh, 
Bro, he's screaming so loud. Oh my god. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna have to hide this man. Sir, you're gonna have to go back here. Morello hasn't the honor to even show his face. For a rat like you? Nah. Get in the car. Damn! So they are calling him a rat. I guess he is betraying us. I was gonna give him the benefit of the doubt. Shit. So what happens next? Well, once Morello gives us the books, our Shit. accounting guys go do with the fine tooth comb for one. Yeah, but won't Salieri's Sick guys him. fly the coop before Sick we're done? Sick. That's why we'll round them up. Oh my God. Then charges on them we hang know on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Keep them in the cells long enough for the scales to tip. This is gonna be some day in court. Tax evasion, money laundering, corruption, smuggling, <sighs> prostitution. I mean, the book is too big. Okay, now these people over here, they're Morello's men. They're not the cops. I don't just want to start shooting, though. I want to figure out a way if I can sneak around because I feel like it would save us all the trouble. And at the same time, I can get cover. I can't just drive through, unfortunately, because they'll definitely notice me. Okay, let me try to go through a bunch of buildings first. If it comes down to it, yeah, I'm going to have to shoot a bunch of people. But I, like I said, I'd rather just sneak around. Guns blazing, stoolies and tax records. That's the way they got Capone. And now is how any of that ties in jail. It's a good day, my friend. <gasps> okay, okay, okay. Once this is over, the whole city's ours. I just want to kill people that I need to, not people that, you know, that I don't need to. Okay, that takes care of this guy. Hang on, let me just get some help. Um, get down. Shit, there's another guy right there. Don Morello's plane is waiting for Coletti in one of the hangars. Fuck! Okay. Come on, Tommy, you can do this. Okay, okay. Whew! Um, is it possible that I can, like... Shit, shit. I have to go to the front entrance. That means I have to take out this guy, too. I got no choice. Don Morello's plane is waiting for Coletti in one of the hangars. Oh, no, no, no. That guy's turning. Never mind. I don't need to kill anyone. I can just go. Just as long as they don't see me, we're okay. You know what? Run. Run, run, run. <gasps> More people just spawned. I made it! <laughs> I made it! Oh, that was so close! Tom. Frank. The Don sent me. I figured as much. I'm sorry it had to be you, Tommy. Anything you want me to tell him? I wish it could have shaken out better, but Morello finally came after me. It's okay. You can come out. Hmm? Oh, his family. His family. Morello offered me a simple trade. The Don's account books for our lives and tickets out of this town. You hand the books over yet? I'm not so stupid, Don. They're safe. Morello was waiting. For this. It's a key to a box in the Grand Imperial Bank downtown. I told Morello I'd hand it over after the plane was fueled and ready to go. His men were meant to fetch it before we left. I took care of them. Tell them to get on a plane. Go on, March. Alice, get aboard. Frank, you're coming with us. Not right now, honey. Just get buckled in. 
Tommy and I, we have some serious business to discuss. But Frank, I don't think much. Tommy would kill him, would he? For Alice. For me. Get on the goddamn plane, please. Or he knows that he's gonna die. You've been paid yet? Yeah. Now you've been paid twice. You take the ladies wherever they want to go. Yes, sir. Thank you, Tom. Christ, Frank. Why didn't you ask us for help? I guess I just wanted out. One way or the other. Mm. I'm tired, Tommy. Tired of lying to my wife. Tired of checking under my car every time I take a Sunday drive. And tired of waiting for the dawn to put two in my temple. Let him go. He's gonna let him go, isn't he? Tommy has a heart. He does. God damn you, Frank. Tommy's a good guy. That's what it comes down to. I understand where Frank's coming from, though. This dude has been doing this for a really long time. I imagine you want to get the hell out of here, right? And, um... Being in the life of the mob... Yeah, you can't live a normal life because you're gonna have to watch your back every single time because someone may kill you. But, um... I get props for Tommy for doing that, but I know we're gonna get into shit with the Dawn, aren't we? Oh my god, what is he gonna say? We can't exactly lie to this guy, can we? We'd be like, yo, he, he, I shot him. I, I think he would know that. I guess all he cares about is the books, though. It's not a matter of, like, if we kill Frank or not. Good afternoon, sir. Hello. Where's the safety deposit boxes? With my colleague downstairs, sir. Thanks. Thank you. Oh my goodness, but Beautiful I under- day, huh? Uh, uh, uh -huh. yeah. Uh, <laughs> but I understand Frank's point of view, I, I really do, because he has a family, so obviously he's gonna be like- trouble, I hope. Obviously he's gonna be like, yeah, I have to protect them, I, I get it. I need to access the deposit boxes for Frank Coletti. Ah uh, yes, Mr. Angelo? Uh, yeah. Mr. Coletti said it might be you who came, and to provide access. Oh! Please. He repaired Follow. already? I got the books and covered my tracks. Salieri never asked any questions. Oh, In wait, fact, so did they fake the funeral? I'm confused. From the funeral, I never heard him talk about Frank again. Oh, did they fake his death? Is that what Tommy did? Huh. Okay. You know what? I have a lot more respect for Tommy. I think I, I really like him as a character because I understand that this can be difficult because if you're in the mob, you, you kind of can't have a heart no matter what happens if someone betrays you and everything like that but I love I love the way that Tommy goes about things that's freaking Morello you're making my boys twitchy Marku Sergio and I just came by to pay respects that's all known Frank a long time almost as long as you he's a good man smart loyal <laughs> loyal to his wife his kid above all else there must be some kind of honor in that in you. Maybe. But I'm still looking at this headstone with his little girl's name on it. It's a hell of a thing. Wow. 
Wow, Tommy really covered for him just so that he would get out. I, respect for that. I, I really do. Um, That mission was fun, though. I like sneaking around. I, you know, i kind of glad that I didn't go guns a blazing because I feel like that's just a waste of time, but I can understand why people want to do it. I love sneaking around in this. Okay, I guess this is going to be the end of this episode for now. A lot has happened. I'm a little bit disappointed that Frank betrayed us, but I understand why he did it. He had no choice. It's because of his family. I thought it was just because... You know, he's trying to screw over Don. He doesn't care anymore. He wants to move over to Morello because Morello is like controlling the city more. But it's a matter of he's being threatened. He has no choice. So we're getting closer and closer to the story of like what's going on with Tommy. And I'm assuming the same thing is probably going to happen with him because now he has Sarah. They're going to get married or they are married now. I'm not sure. But they have each other now. So it's going to be more complicated. I just wonder how that's going to turn out for them. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like. Let me know in the comments what you think. And be sure to subscribe and hit the bell button for more episodes of Mafia. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye!